We are in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada for the 2020 Mint 400, where uh, they gave us the okay to actually race cars. So that's exciting. I'm actually really excited. You know, like we're racing uh, two of our own cars this year uh, for the first time, which is really cool. We've raced this race before uh, with other teams, but never in our own vehicles. So we have both trucks here today, and this weekend is pretty awesome. The Mint 400 is kind of a gnarly one. I kind of grew up as a kid uh, hearing stories from my dad about racing the Mint 400 uh, in a 10 car back in the back in the 80s and all that. And it was kind of always this uh, uh, thing, this out of reach thing, because it was always, you know, it's the big leagues. You know, these are the big races, these are the big dogs. Getting back in the left seat of this truck is definitely wild. It's a whole different animal. The Severson chassis is rowdy, and I'm still trying to figure it all out. Um, I haven't quite found its limits yet, which is a good and a bad thing. <laughs> so probably keeping us safe that we're not touching the limits yet. But uh, if we want to be fast and we want to win, we're going to have to get close to those limits to make sure we're fast. It's a uh, qualifying day. How do you feel? Nervous. <laughs> Drive fast, take chances. It's Thursday. We're at Apex, beautiful Nevada, uh, getting ready to qualify for the 2020 Mint 400. run hard, ran smart where we had to run smart. And, uh, the truck is in one piece. We're gonna go, uh, go to a local shop here at Ty's house and uh, change out the qualifying gear, put the race gear in it, go over the truck, clean everything up, and get ready for race day. It's, uh, it's a little nerve-wracking, you know, just pre-race jitters, you know, but uh, really today we're going to take this truck and uh, just go, like, basically sightseeing. Uh, we're just going to use this truck and go pre-run because uh, we're putting more of our efforts towards the 6400 truck. We want to be able to go, go out and see the course as many times as possible, uh, mark dangers on the GPS and such like that. Uh, that way we're 100% uh, prepared for tomorrow. Now we're still looking to go and put this thing on top of the box. Uh, you know, as we sightsee. So it's definitely exciting to be here at the 2020 Mint 400.
fun going actually. We had a what, seven minute lead or something like that uh, over the uh, class. And, you know, I driver error for sure. We were just cruising, put the thing in cruise control and just trying to make it around the race course. It's hammered out there, but uh, found herself a huge boulder and ripped the uh, left rear caliper off and rotor off and blew a wheel apart. You know, but we were able to uh, put a new tire and wheel on it and complete that lap and pulled into the pits and they capped off the brake line and uh, put a new fan belt on it. The crew did awesome. Uh, got me in and out as fast as possible and Keith and I made our way to uh, try and finish up the third lap. And we're going across the lake bed and it started vibrating like crazy and uh, it sounded like something was coming apart in the rear end. Uh, so unfortunately we uh, pulled into pit A and you know, just called it a day before we were stuck out in the middle of nowhere and, uh, while the thing still ran. So definitely a bummer, but it is what it is. It's uh, racing. Uh, it's Saturday, race day. Uh, truck's prepared, ready to go in our qualifying spot. Gonna try and run smooth, conservative, mellow. It's uh, 428 miles. It's a long day. Uh, gotta leave some on the table for that last lap, try to make some time. Uh, extremely nervous, extremely excited. Extremely grateful for everything that every single person has done to help us get to this point. From Plaster City days to starting the Min 400 in our own race car. This is a... I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this is exciting. Good. Feel accomplished. Yeah, Nicholas. This was rad.